we are finally going to Dollar Tree for Bella's birthday. I think I'm going to start at my smaller one because everything in there is still $1.25. They don't have a $3 section or a $5 section. And then if I don't find what I'm looking for, we'll go to the bigger one. Um, I might also do a voiceover when we actually get there. I am really shy about filming in public. And if anybody remembers a while ago, I got in trouble for filming at Dollar Tree. It wasn't this Dollar Tree. It was the bigger one. Um, I got in trouble for filming there. So I tried to A, stay out of people's way and B, not be loud when I go in there to draw attention to myself. Um, so I might have to do a voiceover when we actually get there. But there's a few things I'm looking for, not just for Bella's birthday, but Bella's birthday is the main reason why I'm going. Uh, last week, I brought both of my kids to Dollar Tree at two separate times, and Bella fell in love with their beach collection. They have a beach collection out for summer, and it is really nice, but our house was never done in like a beach theme. So I never pick up anything for it, but she fell in love with it, and she asked that I just get a few pieces for the house for the summer which I'm willing to do maybe some cups some bowls something like that but then I was there with Logan getting a birthday card for his friend's birthday party um but he didn't really pick anything out that he really liked so I do need some stuff for the house if Bella would like me to pick up some beach themed stuff for the summer when I was there also they were stocking like their um I want to say 4th of July, but you know what I mean. They're America USA stuff, and they had a few really cool things there that I want to pick up. So we're not just going for Bella's birthday, but Bella's birthday is the main reason why I am going. Yeah, I'm doing a voiceover for this part of the video because I just did not want to talk inside that store. There was a lot more people there than the parking lot made it seem. But I didn't expect when I edit this video to look back and think I should have picked up that and that and that. There was so many cute things that I now see in the video that I wish I would have picked up when I was there. All this stuff is cute, though I feel like they have that every single year. But here comes all the beach things. If you decorate your home for the beach, it's a great time to go there and pick up some pieces because they were all nice pieces. Again, I just don't decorate for the beach. I don't have, I don't know, I don't have a lake home or anything like that. Here goes the bowls and the plates. And one of the things that I felt like I should have picked up is right there. If you guys see it, I might go slower. There's glass cups to match the print on the bowls and the other cups right there. I wish I would have picked up some of those glass cups because we have so many mugs. I probably could have got the glass cups and just left the mugs completely behind. But I, I guess I didn't even see it when I was there because I don't remember them. I did look at the tray, but it's super, super thin. So I put it back. But those glass cups, they are on my radar. I kind of want to go back and get some. I don't expect any of this to last long. There was some of the Memorial Day, 4th of July stuff. And those buckets were another one. Those buckets right there, the red, white, and blue one, I feel like they are great to put ice and drinks in. They're great to hold water balloons during the summer. They're good for so many reasons. I should have picked up like one of each color because I know I would use them, and I just didn't. All these signs were really nice, by the way. All the bows, and you really could decorate your house. You really could go all out. Here goes all the grill and stuff. I didn't spend much time there. I feel like for Father's Day, a lot of people go to that section and buy stuff for Father's Day. But I think we're pretty good. I did pick up some party stuff. There was some people in the aisle. Ooh, they do have pink. I was wondering if they had pink. Um, anyway, there was people in the aisle that were talking about maybe not feeling the greatest, if you know what I mean. So I kind of left the aisle. They're right there, right in front of me. I tried to leave the aisle as quickly as possible and just pick up when I need it. Look at all the bows. I don't remember Dollar Tree having all of those bows. There was such, I don't know, there was such a wide variety. There goes tissue paper, by the way. I went to a different store because I did not see the tissue paper. And they have, right there goes more, right there. They had so much tissue paper there. I spent so much more at Rite Aid for tissue paper because I could not see it. And there was two huge sections of tissue paper. I don't know. I guess I was just, I had my blinders on that day, I guess. Just, I don't know. But I missed it. This was another section that I feel like since I stopped 
go into Dollar Tree. They really upgrade it. They have a lot of arts and crafts stuff. All the glow sticks that they would normally have. I didn't see anything crazy with the toys. I feel like my kids at one point in their life has owned every single toy at Dollar Tree. At one point in their life. And I love the coloring books that they have here. And they also had Sudoku books. I wanted to pick up one of those, but I knew I would just not have time to do a whole Sudoku book. But I do love those. There goes the socks I ended up picking up for Bella. I didn't see any other kind of like crazy cool socks. She likes crazy cool socks. Not ankle ones though. Um, Yeah, I didn't see any other ones that I thought she would like, but I did pick that up. And when did Dollar Tree get rid of Wet n Wild? I still have my Wet n Wild brushes from Dollar Tree. I love them. When did they change them out for Color Mates? Is Color Mates and Wet n Wild same company? I don't know. I haven't paid attention to makeup in so long, but I really like the Wet n Wild brushes. I don't know why they changed them. Really, I don't know. Hurts my feelings a little bit. Not that it matters at all. Yeah, so I only seen those one sponges, the makeup sponges there. And then they did have some at an end cap, but they were really themed for Valentine's Day, the other ones. So I just went with these. It was a better bargain for, I think the other one was a three pack. Yeah, all the stuff. I almost have everything I need. I do not need to go to the other dollar store, which I'm thankful about. Maybe sometime in the future we will venture there. But I really don't want to do it today. Uh, I did have to go to Rite Aid for tissue paper. They did not have it at Dollar Tree. But um, I did get something for Chase to try when we get home. He's definitely going to try it. I personally would try it. But I've already been drinking coffee today. I do not need any more coffee after that. I did find this at Dollar Tree. It's the second weird drink I've got from Dollar Tree for Chase to try. The first one was that Pac-Man energy drink, which he said tasted like um, a cherry lollipop or something like that. Or was it a cherry cough drop? Something like that. So I think I'm going to make this a thing. Whenever I go in Dollar Tree, try to find the weirdest drink and make Chase try it. Uh, this one is a Twinkies Ice Latte. It's honestly probably not going to be that bad. It's probably going to be like a cream, a vanilla cream coffee. That's what I imagine it's going to be, but either way, we're going to make Chase try it when we get home and uh, get his reaction to it. My total for Dollar Tree came to $42.25. Everything was $1.25. So we really don't have anything over $1.25 there. I did grab some of the beach stuff. I thought I was going to grab more of both the beach and the USA stuff, but actually going there and taking time to see it, I don't know what else I would use. They did have like beach themed trays, but I did buy a tray from Target, I believe two years ago now, and it's still working just fine. So I don't need another tray. Uh, I bought the bowls, the cups. I only bought two cups. I bought four bowls though. I don't know. And then I bought the dish drying mat, which I always need those. So like that, that will definitely work. But I don't know. I don't think I would use anything else. When I brought Bella, she bought some of the decor pieces that you guys seen for her room. But I don't think there was anything else that I would actually use. And the USA stuff, I liked all of it. But am I really going to be decorating my whole house in that theme? Um, probably not. So I grabbed the two cups, which is the vein of my existence. You guys know from the Peeps cups that I bought. I really dislike cleaning them. But they always look so cool, so I always end up picking them up. Uh, so I bought two of the cups, and I think that's it for the USA stuff. I don't know. I'd have to look again. And I did buy those Kraft Mac and Cheese socks to add to Bella's birthday gift. They feel really thin. They're probably not going to last even a few months. But for $1.25, I thought she would get a kick out of them while they do last. Otherwise, I think we I think we got everything. I bought the bags. I even bought some decorations. I'll show you guys maybe when we get home if I didn't show everything in the video. I bought candles. I didn't find the old brushes. They used to have wet and wild brushes, right? And now they have a different kind of brush, which they seemed really cheap. They looked really cheap. That being said, if Bella really gets in the makeup, maybe I'll replace them later on. I think they'll be just fine for starters, but... I don't know. They didn't look as good as the old ones that they used to have. I bought an assortment of the plates, the cups, the napkins. I bought all different colors because the um the birthday theme she's going with is a TV show. And the TV show has like all different colored gems in it. 
So I figure if we went all, all different color plates and cups and all, that would kind of match it all. Yeah, okay. I don't know. We have to go to that grocery store over there really quick. It's Landis. To try to find command hooks. Chase swears that they have them there. He just wants one to hang up a picture he found at the thrift store last weekend. But I don't... I don't think they have it, but we'll go look for him. I'm already here. We might as well. We did go to our thrift store last weekend, and it was, it wasn't what I remember. Like, I remember it being really fun. You could really find deals there and um, hidden treasures, and it just, it didn't feel that way last time we went. So, I don't know when the next time I will go is. We have not gone for some time. It'd be great if I put the keys in the car. Um... I don't know. If I go, I'll show you guys, but I don't know when the next time I would go is. The prices were just a little bit too much for me for a thrift store. Um, this is the one that Chase wanted, but this looks awfully big to me, the hang the picture that he got, and that's not what I use to hang pictures in my house. I use these, the damage-free command hooks for actual pictures. Can you guys see that? I'm sorry, the steering wheel is in the way. This is what I use, and they really work really well. They hold up to 12 pounds. This holds 7.5 and it's a lot more bulky. So I'm going to try to talk him into using these. It'll just look nicer on the wall than this. Um, but I got this in case he's like really set on having this. Anyway, let's go home and get Chase to try this drink. And then I'll do like a quick overview of what we got. And I think the next video is going to be everything I got Bella for her birthday. So I'm just showing you guys like the gift bags. But I mean like the actual gifts I got her. Man, talk about timing. The radio just said, in order to ask somebody to do a favor for you, it's been proven that they'll say yes if you touch the back of their hand. So in order to get Chase to try this, I'm going to go down there. I'm going to touch the back of his hand and ask him to try this. We'll see if it works. That was so funny that that came on right as I was thinking, how am I going to get Chase to try this? Because he doesn't like trying weird stuff. If you remember the videos a long time ago when he ate that scorpion, um, he's not a big fan of these. So, yeah, I'm going to go try that. Has anybody else noticed, while I get my things together to get out of the car, has anybody else noticed new cop cars in their area? The cop cars in my area have changed. We now have trucks. I have never seen a cop in a truck. It was an all-black truck. Um, We now have trucks, and now we also have these... I want to say white cop cars. We've always had white cop cars, but they're like more sleek. They look way nicer. Um, some of these cop cars, I would never, if they didn't say police, I would never think that they were cop cars, which I guess is kind of the point, especially when they're hiding out like they do. Um, yeah, new cop cars though, and trucks out of everything. I think that that is really cool. I need you to do me a solid. What'd you do? Can you try this? I seen it at Dollar Tree and I thought of you. Why why would <laughs> why would you think of me with Twinkies? Okay, there you go. I was showing your computer screen and all. Yeah, I try it. I imagine it's gonna be like a vanilla coffee type of deal. Is it actually good? Don't you miss the days when we used to eat and try weird things? I miss those days. It is like French vanilla coffee, but there's like a... Like it, it can it, it can um, live past the apocalypse feel? No, taste. it's like a slight birthday cake chai taste. Didn't they say like Twinkies can outlast like the end of the world? Yeah, and they didn't last like two was months that... after the factory shut Oh, down. they didn't? Yeah, no, they didn't oh. fail. 
So is it good? It's okay. You want it? I think no. I have the, I have the other coffee. No, I shouldn't. No, I really shouldn't. It's, it's kind of like vanilla birthday cake with a little bit of chai spice to it. No, I have the. Uh, I have. I'm good. I have the other coffee. No, you're good. We're good. Okay. I'm gonna make this a thing now. Every time I go to Dollar Tree, I'm gonna grab a weird drink for you to try. <laughs> well, again, keep in mind sugar here because this is 31 grams. Well, I didn't tell you had to finish it all. Mm, I didn't yeah. say ooh, finish that all. Can't finish that. <laughs> Hey, the hand thing actually worked. He tried it after I did that. He said he would have tried it anyway, but I like to believe that it worked. Let's see what we got from Dollar Tree before we end this video. I feel like I haven't done a Dollar Tree haul video in so long. So uh, yeah, let's see what we got. Here goes the two cups we picked up. Again, they will be the vein of my existence. Um, but until whatever, they look really cool and I think the kids will like them. So I picked up one, it says, get your sparkle on. It does have a carrying strap, which I thought would be really cool. We do go on a lot of walks all spring and all summer, so the kids can carry us. I got this one and then I bought this one. So each kid can have their own and they don't match or they're not fighting over whoever it is. They don't look like they're actually gonna be that hard to clean, right? There's no small spots in here to clean. I think it's gonna be just fine, actually. And then I bought this. We have a small shed outside and Chase always wanted to organize. I don't think it needs to be organized personally, but he wanted to organize. So I bought one of these to see if I can use it in that shed. I'm not sure I can. I think everything in that shed might be a little too heavy for this. Next to this in the store, I don't know if I showed you guys or not because I didn't edit this video yet, but they did have like this small rake and shovel and all actually in the store. So I think they were all supposed to go together. I have like an actual shovel, not a lightweight one. So I, I don't think this is going to work, but I figure for $1.25, I'll try to use it. Make Chase happy. He did take both of the pins that I bought, the push pins that I bought. He, he needed those. So he already took those. I can't show you guys them, but they're just push pins. And I did buy one of these hooks in case I didn't find the other ones at the other store. This says it holds five pounds. It actually would have worked for the picture downstairs. We did weigh it. It came a little under five pounds. He did end up using that other big white hook that I do not like. I just don't think it looks that good when you hang a picture. I, I think the black command strips around the picture make it look so much better because it's hidden. Uh, but it's his office, so he could do what he wants with his office. Personally, I would never have done it, but it's his office. Anyway, I'm sure we'll use this somewhere, probably when the holidays come back up, to uh, hang a wreath or something. Here goes the socks that I bought to add to Bella's birthday gift. Again, super thin. They are super thin. They are not going to last long. But while they last, I thought she would think it's funny. She does like mac and cheese, so I bought one of those. Yellow cups for Bella's birthday. Two candles just for 14. This is one of the beach themed things I did pick up. They're dish drying mats. I still have dish drying mats from when I actually used to go to Dollar Tree all the time and I use them all the time. So I figure one more would not hurt and I know Bella would love to see this on the counter. I do leave a drying rack out on my counter almost every single day. It bothers me, but I use it so often that I don't feel like putting it away and taking it out. So I think she'll think this is cool to see it on the counter. Blah, 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 let's move on. I did pick up these tumblers. I know these are gonna be sold out given another week or so. And I think these are gonna be great. Rather we do something for Memorial Day or 4th of July. I think these are gonna be perfect for having snacks in there. So I picked up one. I feel like I probably should have picked up two. Um, yeah, but I know they're gonna be sold out. So I just want to grab one to have and I will put it away. Just some glow bracelets, always need those. I remember I used to go to Dollar Tree right before the kids got out of school and I used to buy a bunch of glow stuff so that all summer long they could play outside even when it's dark. Like the footballs and the little bouncy balls, they even had a frisbee one year. I remember doing that and going back into Dollar Tree kind of reminded me of that nostalgia. Maybe we'll do something like that this year before the kids get out of school. Though my kids are a preteen and a teen, I don't know really what they're gonna like to play with during the summer. I found some makeup sponges to add to Bella's gift. They did have more and they seem to be geared towards Valentine's Day, which I don't really care if it's Valentine's Day or not. She'll enjoy it either way. They did have other ones though that looked kind of cool, but this seemed to be a better bargain for the four. So I picked up those. 
More candles for Bella's cake. I didn't know if I was gonna use the 14 or just regular candles. Either way, whatever I don't use will get used later on. So no worries. I thought that these were kind of cool though, being long and twirly-like. Here goes the brushes I, I bought for her. I bought her two of the eyeshadow brushes, which they're color mates. So I bought her two of those. And then one of the blush, the blush brush. I don't know. It's something to start. Maybe we'll change it later on. Maybe we won't. Maybe she'll find out she really isn't into makeup. Here goes one of the birthday bags I bought. I do plan on starting to save these to use them year after year. I normally do not do that. I normally wrap the presents in like wrapping paper, but um, this would be a cheaper option is to buy these once, use them year after year. So that's my plan with them as of right now is to be able to save them. That's why I decided to buy them this year and not buy wrapping paper. Anyway, here goes one. Some plates for Bella's party, which were they always a 24 pack? For some reason, I thought they were eight or 12. So were they, and then they went up to 24 or were they always 24? I don't remember, but I feel like that's a pretty good deal for 24 plates. Purple napkins. Again, 30 napkins for $1.25. Was it always that many? And I just don't remember. I don't know. And then some silverware just to make it, make the whole thing a little bit easier, which by the way, 48. Was it always this many? Or am I, am I imagining the things? Maybe I'm imagining the things and it was always that many. I picked up one lawn sign. They had a lot of gamer birthday stuff there. Now she's not having a gamer birthday party and we've already had a game themed birthday party for Logan. But if he ever wants to have one again, I would definitely go there because they stepped it up with their party decorations and they had some really cool stuff for gaming. Anyway, I bought this lawn sign and I feel like this lawn sign, as long as it doesn't like rain really heavy, I think this could last year after year. Look at the back. It's a really good, um, I was gonna say fabric, material. It's a really good material back here. So I think that this could last year after year too. I might have to start like a birthday bin in my storage where I just put like tissue paper and bags and decorations so we can take them out year after year. I know I'm a little late. My kids are a teen and preteen, but it's better late than never. Here goes the other two bags that I bought. I don't know if I'll need all these bags, but I bought them in case I did. So that one says time to party and this one says wish big and they had a lot they had a lot of different designs but you had to kind of like flip through them they were all on the same hook and then like i said bella wanted me to pick up some of the beach themed stuff there so i picked up two cups i don't know why i only picked up two cups we have four people in this house i probably should have picked up four cups they didn't have that many left i do feel like if another family came in they probably could buy the rest I don't know. I don't know why I picked up two, but they are microwavable and dishwasher safe. So that's a plus. I do like the pattern. I think it's a really cool pattern. It also gives me like a retro feel from the nineties a little bit. Either way, it's neat. And then I did pick up four balls. So only two cups with four balls. I don't know what I was thinking. Again, these are dishwasher and microwavable safe. So that's nice. Will the print last? wash after wash i'm not exactly sure um i said in my video where i was talking about hoa that my dishwasher kept turning on it's breaking i have replaced almost every single thing on the dishwasher myself including the heating elements the tubing at the bottom of the dishwasher um the spinning arm thing i have replaced so much in that dishwasher at this point that i think it's time to get a new one and i did look and home depot does have a really good sale on them right now i just I don't know, I'm having a hard time jumping and making the big purchase. So I keep fixing it, but it keeps breaking. And um, I was told years ago that it was time to be replaced by a professional. And I said, no, that I'll just keep fixing it. But I, I really do think it's getting to the point that it needs to be replaced. Anyway, I don't know how long this will last in the dishwasher, the print, but, but until it really starts to fade, I think it's gonna be just fine. There's no print on the inside of these bowls like the cup, but they're cool. All right, guys, thank you for calling me a Dollar Tree. I'm sorry if I had to do a voiceover. There wasn't a lot of people in the parking lot, like I said, but it seemed like whoever was in the parking lot was in that Dollar Tree because there was somebody down every single aisle. 
So I get shy, so I probably did not talk and I probably did do a voiceover. Sorry about that, but um, it's really nice outside. I hope that everybody's enjoying the weather. I hope you're getting good weather. I think up north, you're still not. But I hope everybody's still enjoying their day. I hope that you have a good morning, afternoon, or evening. I'll see you in the next video when we probably do uh, what I got Bella for her birthday and I actually show you the items because everything definitely came in the mail at this point. All right, guys. Bye.